you know, her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, you know, she had two children with him, by him, however you want to say that. You guys, we got to talk about Kevin Jobless Federline. More trouble for Britney Spears as her ex-husband, Kevin Federline, wants her to pay more money now that their children live with him full time. I can't imagine how it feels to be a teenager having to go to high school. Now, the former backup dancer, Kevin Federline, is thinking about going to court and asking for more than the $40,000 a month in child support payments that he's currently getting from Britney. It was also reported that he got $20,000 a month in child support. And he wants at least 60K per month out of her. This is crazy, guys. All I was trying to do was get 50-50 custody. Kevin, by the way, gets that amount right now because both parents were supposed to have the kids for an equal amount of time. But as of right now, their sons, Sean, who's 17 years old, and Jaden, who's 16, have been living with their dad for several years and even moved to Hawaii with him recently. They're really confused with Mommy the Star and and mommy. So obviously when Britney Spears fans, when they heard about this, they're like, yo, 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 Kevin, bro, go get a job, man. Like, honestly. We gotta talk about Kevin Jobless Federline because this man is me off left and right and all around and, and just, I am so damn off at this man. He has literally received millions of dollars from Britney Spears in child support over the years. Like their oldest son, Sean, is actually gonna be turning 18 in September of 2023 which means that Britney Spears' required payments will be cut in half for him. Sources say that the support though for the youngest son, Jaden, that's gonna continue until he finishes high school in 2025. So that's gonna be about $30,000 a month that Kevin Federline is gonna be receiving. The boys have decided that, you know, they, they're, they're not seeing her right now. Now, when we rewind, Kevin and Brittany, they completed their divorce in July of 2007. And in their divorce settlement, Brittany paid Kevin $1.3 million and they had a child support agreement written up. They had a prenuptial agreement as well before their divorce. And uh, Brittany also paid for Kevin's lawyer fees, which totaled $250,000. The toxic songstress was placed under a conservatorship in 2008 but Kevin quickly explained why he didn't get involved in it. On top of all of that, it was reported that Kevin received $20,000 per month in child support for their two sons. Now, fast forward to 2018, Kevin requested an increase in his child support payments, and this was a move that Britney's conservator at the time, Jamie, her father, opposed completely. As we can clearly see though, 2007 up until now is a very long time. Kevin has gotten millions out of Britney if you add up all the years, and they did have joint custody before, so the child support amount was $20,000 a month. But Kevin did try, as you saw, to get more out of her, but luckily that was shut down. Kevin Federline's lawyer, his name is Mark Vincent Kaplan, and he previously mentioned that the teen sons had been in touch with Britney as recently of July of 2023. And this is at least some good news for Britney when you compare it to previous reports that her two sons actually stopped communicating with her completely in 2022. And also when we look at one episode of TMZ Investigates called Britney Spears The Price of Freedom, which aired in May of 2023, it said that by the end of the summer of 2022, tensions got so bad that the boys weren't even responding to their mom's texts. So as you can imagine, that was really hard for Britney to deal with. Like those are her sons. By the end of last summer, tensions between them had gotten so bad, the boys weren't even responding to her texts. And on his side, Kevin Federline openly stated that their children chose not to see Britney Spears or go to her wedding with her now estranged husband, Sam Asghari, who Britney is actually currently divorcing. And this decision he said was influenced by the intense media attention that followed the termination of Britney's conservatorship in November of 2021. Britney Spears has had exactly a year and a half of freedom since her 13 year long conservatorship. And you know, I, I just gotta say this, that it seems like Kevin is really trying to hit her while she's down and try to take advantage of the whole situation because she's clearly going through a divorce with Sam Asghari. They're not getting back together at all. So of course, divorces, that's gonna cost 
a lot of money. You gotta pay for lawyers and divvy up any assets, all that stuff. Luckily, Britney Spears has a great prenuptial agreement this time around that protects her from losing so much of her wealth. But still, you gotta pay for lawyers. She's still gonna have to pay money. She may have to move, all that stuff. And then to have your ex-husband, who's literally gotten millions out of you over the years, wanting more money from you. And I think he's a panicking a little bit because you know, their sons are getting older and eventually their child support is gonna get less and less and less and less. And then he's not gonna be able to collect. And it's like at this point, Kevin, just get a job. You know, everybody knows I've had a tough road, but um, I I'm, I'm happy where we're at. Like, what's he doing with all that money? Like, why is he demanding so much out of Britney, especially right now that she's currently going through a divorce. Anyways guys, that's all I gotta say in this one. I'm curious to know your thoughts, sound off down below. And thanks for hanging out with me in this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Later. Boom.